Hello guys, Army of Otters here. Um, I'm going to be making a speed run guide kind of for Halo 3 in order to help people get the devastating achievement. Uh, Halo 3 is one of my favorite campaigns of like any video game ever. And so I decided to do this and I had a lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm trying to speed run this game. So right off the bat on this mission, you're going to want to go ahead and shoot, uh, kill one of the Marines and hope he gives you a grenade. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get one. And then you want to shoot the rest in the back. Um, you don't want to kill more than one Marine though. Otherwise, uh, Johnson, the Arbiter, will get mad at you and they will actually one shot kill you. So that is no good. Um, so Sierra 117, in my opinion, is the second hardest mission in the entire game uh, behind the Covenant. Um, this mission, in my opinion, is very brutal, even more so than like the Ark. Um, it just there's some really lucky parts, and there's some things we have to practice. And I'm going to try and help you guys get down some of these tricks. So the first trick we have is kind of jumping up on this rock using that crack, which will allow us to despawn the two phantoms that bring in a ton of enemies in this area. So all we have to do with these the initial first wave. So in order to do this, you have this like crack in the wall. Just run straight into it, and at the apex of your jump, just spam the A button. So I'm going to do it twice here so you guys can see it. Again, wall, uh, run into the crack, jump, and spam the A button at the top. Then you kind of have to do this awkward jump onto that rock, jump into this tree, and fall out. And this will despawn the two phantoms. There will still be some grunts and a brute behind you, but the brute will not notice you. And then you just headshot these grunts and take a plasma pistol. Um, obviously, I, did, I only killed two of them. Um, one grunt probably won't kill you, but obviously he brought down my shields. Um, again, we're hoping they give us a plasma grenade, but again, unfortunately, I didn't get any grenades, um, which makes this a little bit harder, but not too bad. So this next area, in my opinion, is probably the second hardest area of the game, if not the first hardest. We're going to be doing a little uh, trick jump here that is kind of hard to pull off, um, so I would highly recommend practicing this jump, maybe on easy. That way you can kind of get it down to a T. Also, this area is really random with the spawns. If there's a lot of jackals in the trees, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So a lot of speedrunners will jump up on that rock there. I don't do that because I find it, it increases the amount of damage you take and you want to be as healthy as possible. So I stay grounded. So you crouch up onto this pipe and then you kind of crouch jump into that wall. I'm going to slow it down so you guys can see it better. So crouch jump onto this pipe. And then you can kind of see where like that grass is kind of overhanging there where I'm shooting my plasma pistol. You want to jump, crouch, and hold forward to push yourself up there. Do it one more time. So look at that little area where the grass is coming. Jump, hold, crap, jump, crouch, hold forward, and you should get up. Um, that is a hard trick. Now here on this run, I did a really safe strat, um, which is just killing all the enemies. Um, because these enemies aren't too good. On the bottom left, though, you can see me doing a very risky strat that you can try to replicate if you would like, uh, done by me on another run, um, but really difficult to pull off, and you can see why, because you have all these grunts shooting you, and um, much, much more risky, but it is much faster than staying and killing all the enemies. However, the run I'm showing you right now is actually faster, and I believe it's safer, so I don't really... Unless you're going for like world record time, you don't really need to do uh, that strat. You can just stay back, slowly take out the enemies, kill this brute. Uh, really unfortunate, you really want this brute's uh, bubble shield. It makes a part really, really hard. I actually get through it without the bubble shield, but you would like to kill him before he deploys it and take that bubble shield. But unfortunately, I didn't get to it. Here you can use the brute shot to do a Cortana skip. I'm very bad at that jump though, so I just say screw the seven seconds. I'm just going to keep going uh, and just... Who cares? Uh, this next area is super easy, actually. Um, contrary to what some people might actually think, um, because the water in this area actually has no kill barrier, so you can just go in the water, and enemies won't shoot you down there, uh, which is very convenient. Um, sometimes that brute has a uh, bubble shield. He didn't that time. So in the water, you want to make sure you kill these two jackals. That way they don't cause us trouble later. And then just walk uh, along the bottom of this river or whatever towards where the dam has broken. When you get near here, throw a grenade near the collapsed turret, and it'll boost you up here. That grenade jump is actually surprisingly really easy if you're even a little bit capable of grenade jumping. And that's just something you could practice in custom games. So keep running fast because enemies are going to spawn in behind you. Um, if you keep on moving though, they'll just, um, they might shoot at you, but they shouldn't be an issue. Sometimes grunts will follow you. Um, so if they do, kill them. But again, they shouldn't be an issue. 
in the Jiper in the, in the Jackal Sniper Forest, you need to be somewhat careful. Um, because if you get hit by a sniper rifle, it's a one-shot kill. I'm really lucky that Jackal missed me. Um, these Jackals are much more forgiving than they are in Halo 2. Which is really good for me. <laughs> Um, so I'm actually going to make a mistake here. Um, I really just should have dropped the plasma pistol, maybe. Um, I still don't know the best strat here. Um, but anyways, I take the plasma pistol and the beam rifle. And what I should have done is I should have taken this jackal's carbine up here, but I forgot to do that. So anyways, we're going to do a really hard trick here. But it, I really don't think it's as hard as some people make it out to be. And I'm going to try and go in-depth to show you how to do it. Because if you can do this skip, it makes this area so much easier. And it saves you so much time. So I would really highly encourage you to go on to easy. And to practice this jump for like 15-20 minutes. Until you can get it down to a T. So anyways, I was worried about the Arbiter here getting in my way. Um, I said, screw it, you know what, maybe it'll look cool. And so, right where this kind of grass is on the wall, you jump, hug the wall, throw a grenade, jump across, uh, and have the Arbiter jump beneath you for the epic cinematography. Um, so obviously that was really quick, so we're going to do it again here. So right where this like grass is on the wall is where you want to jump. So again, kind of fast, so I'm going to slow it down. So the second patch of grass on the wall... That's where you want to jump. You want to hug the wall as much as possible. And as you come down, you want to land in this area where you almost fall down to the bottom area. And you want to jump as soon as you land. So again, jump right where the second layer of grass is on the wall. Throw the grenade at that other kind of pocket of grass and that'll get you across. Do it a couple more times. This one's slowed down, so jump where that grass is on the wall. See where that kind of grass right there is also on the wall? Throw your grenade right there. As soon as you land, hit that A button or space bar if you're on PC like I am, and you will hit this jump fine. Again, that was kind of a worse bad one, but um, I made it. And the reason I'm throwing that bubble shield, while this is on easy, on legendary, there's jackal snipers, and they will kill you. If you are having trouble with this jump, there's another little skip here where you can kind of come to this back corner. Um, so kind of clear out this first section of enemies. Your, your main goal is to kill all the jackals. And then you can crouch jump up onto this rock and it saves you maybe a minute or two instead of having to kill a couple of brutes and a lot of grunts. So again, show it one more time. So once you clear out this area, there's going to be jackals in this tree, by the way, so you definitely want to get rid of them. Jump on this rock, really easy. This jump can be a little difficult, but once you, it's only going to take you about one or two tries. Crouch jump up here and you're all good. Now there's going to be grunts up here, obviously, and one brute, so be ready to plasma pistol him. Okay, moving back to the run. Um, I missed both those jackals, and then I looked at my top right corner, and I was like, oh, shoot, I only got one bullet left, um, which is really unfortunate. Again, I really should have grabbed that carbine. So here, I sincerely believe the best strategy is just to run for it. I've actually never been killed during this area by a sniper. Uh, the only thing that has ever killed me are the grunts. But if you're really fast, you can get away with it before the grunts even see you. Also, I had to record this in theater mode because my original recording, um, I wasn't recording, which was a big mistake. So, But thank God for theater mode. But as you come over here, I'm actually going to die here, which is quite unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to plasma pistol that brute. I was really hoping the chieftain would come in. And so I was like, okay, here he comes. And then he decided to hammer the wall. And I was like, okay, he will come. So I'm panicking right now because there's going to be brutes coming in behind me. So I'm like, I'm just going to run for this little pocket over here. But then the grab hammer came out of nowhere and got me. So I'm all the way back here. I would have had a sub 10 minutes on this mission, which is really, really, really good. Um, but I actually had like a 10 minutes See and 10 seconds, but not going to complain. You really want to aim for sub 20 minutes on this mission. If you can get below 20 minutes on legendary, um, you'll be good to get the achievement. So during this kind of hallway, just jump. That way a jackal sniper doesn't hit you. Um, I've never actually been hit by a jackal, jackal sniper there, but apparently it can happen. Um, as you can see, there's a sniper on top of that roof, so I was trying to play with him so he couldn't have a direct view on him. So here, uh, when the brute chieftain does that kind of jump attack, um, that you can easily assassinate him. So I pick up his invincibility, and I had to activate it early, though, unfortunately, because two groups came into that room, and it's going to end before I was expecting it to, so I was like, oh, shoot, and I had to run into this little cubbyhole over here, and for the most part, you're really safe in here. 
Um, and I was able to pick up the carbine, so I just start clearing out the small grunts. Uh, obviously, I don't have a plasma pistol, so the brute's going to be a little bit harder. Um, he kind of did some work there for me by hitting that forklift with his brute shot. As you can see, his, his uh, shields are starting to glow, or his armor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, brute shots are like the deadliest thing, in my opinion. That grunt decided to suicide, which really helped me out because he's going to drop those plasma grenades with that death. Um, so once I cleared this area, I am going to um, pick up a plasma pistol. I was like, I thought I did that. Yeah, I did do that. In order to kill this brute over here. So again, ideally you wouldn't activate the invincibility so early, but I had to to prevent dying. And you can run in here and start clearing up the enemies really quickly. So your goal here is to free Sergeant Johnson as quickly as possible. And I was just kind of taking it easy because I had a really good time so far. As you can see, a grunt threw in a plasma grenade and I was like, oh crap, that almost hit me. So be mindful of that, but for the most part, you're going to be safe in there. I do leave as quickly as possible though, because as soon as you free Sergeant Johnson, the enemy should start running back towards the dam. So just staying in this little area over here is very safe. Also, you can't be sniped by any jackal that might still be alive. That's a big plus. I'm just going to take out the grunts with this carbine. I'm going to try and hit a brute with this, and it almost hit him, but I just missed. Um, the faster you kill the enemies, the faster the pelican is going to come in. Um, so as you can see here, I kind of waste a lot of time because I just don't want to go out there and ruin everything. And the pelican will come. Just start, just keep taking out those grunts, and they will come. Besides that, there's not much else you can do unless you want to get really risky with it, but if you made it this far, I would not recommend getting too risky. Um, again, just taking out the grunts. I actually ran out of uh, carbine ammo here. I have one bullet left, but I, hey, I made a count to kill that brute. And I was like, I think there was a carbine back here, so I, I'm going to go pick up the ammo from it. And luckily, I was right. There was a carbine. Um, this game is really hard without any kind of precision weapon, so otherwise, I'd recommend picking up a needler and using that on the brutes and the grunts in order to kill them. If you don't have a precision weapon and plasma pistol. So I come back and the enemy's actually pushed up, which was really good for me because the Arbiter was actually able to take care of a lot of them for me, which was really helpful. So then this brute, the Pelican has arrived now and this brute is about to get yeeted off this dam. You're gonna go see him go flying here, right there, into the uh, lake. So, once the pelican kills all the enemies and shoots down the phantom, you're pretty much in the all clear. Um, I don't know if the jackals could still be alive, so I was looking over here, but I, I didn't see them. So I assume the game despawns them. You can actually get in the pelican a little bit earlier, and there you have it. That is Sierra 117 completed. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and thank you for watching.